and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Karma. It's going to be our next deck. That's right, we're going to be going back to an old control favorite with Ezreal Karma. A couple of things. I wanted to play Tribeam and Probulator and play it in a little bit different uh, version than other people are playing. So we're going to try this out. We don't have the most three mana spells to really take full advantage of it with just Ezreal, Tasty Fey Folk, Twin Disciplines, and then Deep Meditation. I did want to, like, originally what I wanted to do, but it had to be my last cut, so I wanted to play Emerald Awakeners in here also. Like, my plan was to play Tasty Fey Folk and Emerald Awakener with Tribeam and Probulator and Health Potion. I was going to be playing all of those. But, you know, I, I got basically got all of these cards in, and, you know, I had, like, a little bit over 40 cards, and we had to cut stuff. And, un unfortunately... That's when Emerald Awakener left. Um, you may notice I'm going all the jury rigs and rummage. I wanted to have rummage to be able to kind of dig through the, the deck a little bit. And wanted to have jury rigs to discard to rummage. And basically, um, a lot of people when they're playing this deck are probably playing Steel Tempest. That'd be my guess. And I wanted... And Steel Tempest is fine. You know, it's it's okay. It's, it's a card. It, it's a target for Ezreal. That's nice. But... Jury Rig is basically Steel Tempest that only costs one mana instead of two, and that also works perfectly with Rummage. And so I wanted to try that out. And so we're going to be playing one mana Steel Tempest with Jury Rig. Uh, but yeah, you know, we're going to be trying to get Enlightened and have leveled up Karma and have leveled up Karma Dominate and then finish the games with Ezreal. So if that's the game plan, let's go straight to our games. Um... No Chump Wump. No, I didn't really want to... Uh, I don't know. Chump Wump's fine with, with... Yeah, it's good with Rummage, but... Um, you know, just didn't, didn't really have, have room for it. And, you know, I just wanted more more spells, more interaction, all of that kind of stuff. I like Gotcha a lot, how it kills Callista, But I don't think that I can keep two Gotchas at four mana. Let's just keep one, because it kills Callista. So we played against we're playing against Shadow Isles and a Freljord, but we're playing PNZ and Ionia. I didn't think that was possible. I didn't think you could play against different regions. At least that wasn't the case with our anti-burn deck. Yeah, so they who endure. <laughs> uh just you know, theoretically how the games should how the decks play out. We are a deck that's trying to use like a whole bunch of one for one removal and and you know kill a bunch of things and wear the opponent down like that. They're a deck that is playing all cards that are just amazing against one for one removal and want all of their things to die. And that's all they want to see is one for one removal and then they play They Who Endure. So from from a design perspective, this looks like a horrendous matchup. Um, I haven't I I don't have like that much experience with Karma Ezreal, so we'll kind of see how it plays out. It does seem like we're going to need to try to combo kill them very quickly with Karma and Ezreal, so good thing that now it takes 10 targets. That was a sarcastic good thing, by the way. Alright, we're going to take the 4, Mystic Shot the 3-2, and play Ezreal. I don't have any answers for they who endure besides uh, concussive palm. So atrocity, I only have deny to stop. I don't have like will of Ionia or any hard removal that would also stop atrocity. We have been playing against the slowest players today. Our other five games took almost two hours. If they're out there, I'll there we go. Go ahead, play your cards. Come on. All right, let's attack here. All right, they're passing turn. We could also pass turn, but we are gonna need this Ezreal to level up. And so I don't think that we can afford to uh, pass turns. Probably gonna just cast we shall not rest until all betrayers 
Five four. So I want Draggling, right? So I'm, I'm incentivized to play another spell here, so we have defensive Draggling. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, take me, baby. All right, they don't want to attack anything else into my Dragling. Lovely day for a battle. So four. So Thermotonic Beam is going to eat up all my mana next turn. Well, I guess, okay, so we're going to have seven mana, so I could play Tasty Fae Folk and a Thermogenic Beam on four to kill the Neverglade Collector next turn, which... I guess combining those two means that we would not be playing the Mystic Shot that Ezreal would create. Sounds and so if I want to play the Mystic Shot that Ezreal creates, then we're going to get drained for one. So it's going to cost us a life to play it. These old eyes still see far and clear. So that's just how it is. But of course we want this Ezreal to level up. So that's five. Beam will be six. What is gained when we return malevolence? Not the best for me. I taste purple. Tasty Faith Hulk is really good at blocking one one. I just don't even really want to kill these one ones. Because, you know, like because of they who endure, I don't really even want to kill them. But we need to level up Ezreal. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Into the forest. So that's gonna let them have one of their Avaros and sentries die. And draw a card. Almost there, 8 out of 10. Old Ezreal would be leveled up by now. Now these other things seem great to target. Could use a Karma or a Deep Meditation. Definitely keeping them from drawing those two. They don't know what they're up against. The Glimpse Beyond was the card that they drew because I killed the Avaros and Sentry. Breathe in, breathe out. Man, jury yeah, so. Any of our card draw spells would be awesome, or Karma. Put 
down to eight. If I block with the tasty Fey Folk, we're not dead to atrocity. Guess we have to do that. What are you? Maybe I just die to atrocity. Yeah. I think I just died to atrocity. Okay. Still dead to atrocity. Yeah, we could use a karma. Two, four, six, and then these do four. So that's eight plus six is 14, and they're at 16. Still dead to still dead to atrocity, but otherwise we just need a spell. Ooh. So I guess I have to rummage. Do we rummage away one card or two cards? We're gonna cast that. I guess it's better to rummage two cards. So it's either rummage one card. Yeah, I get. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just one card. No, tasty faithful on top. I needed any spell except for rummage. Any spell except for rummage. Because if I rummage two, then they both have to be spells, but if I rummage one, then I only need that one card to be a spell. Ugh. Dang. That was crazy. Deep Meditation, I couldn't have you last game. Yeah, I don't, I don't want Chump Lump. I still don't want Chump Lump whatsoever. So it's like, after you already have Ezreal leveled up and you're winning, then then Chump Lump. And, like, would have drawn Chump... No. Like, no. I just don't want Chump Lump. It doesn't... We don't need it. I don't want it over anything else that's in the deck. Played a fair game. Eyes open. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Yeah, exactly. We just we just need karma. I mean, that's karma is our chump lump. But with needing 10, 10 targets, doesn't help with that. If they do end up killing Ezreal, Ezreal did get a free Mystic Shot for us. Right, 
Two out of ten. Would have been really nice to have rummage, right? And then just rummage away both of those. That would have been really nice. Dragon with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Dragon. I really appreciate that. You are awesome. Second sub of the day. I feel like I mystic shot the Zaps Brayfin and then they Noxion Fervor and kill my Ezreal. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could I you can't really, speed I can't really stop that from happening. All right, so we got a backup stat static shot. Interesting. All right, well, I suppose that works. The thing I don't like about what I'm doing right here is now I don't have to much anything for five for Gangplank. Oh, they're a Swain deck. Never mind. Uh, rewind and redo. The thing I don't like about doing that is now I don't have six mana for Thermogenic Beam for Swain. <laughs> Oh no, they're a Swain deck. That means they're playing Leviathan. I can't ever beat Leviathan. Leave them nothing. So let's see. We're two turns away from being enlightened for Karma. No excess when victory is at stake. Yeah, I can't be that card. So I would like to hold off on these card draw spells until Karma's in play. And all leveled up and everything. So I'd like to do. Mm. This is a bad turn for me. All right, so they didn't spend nine mana either. So that's not so bad. So three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven mana with, if we play Karma, we'd have seven mana. I see every move. Oh. Should mean like static shock. Heart Is there mind as one? There's no way they don't kill my karma, right? Because ideally we cast. Okay. Never mind. I was gonna say, ideally, we would cast two spells, have the deep meditation be three mana. I guess maybe. Hmm. I need to. I don't know. All right. So let's see. So seven mana. I guess we're just gonna draw four. It's probably what we need to do. The most. We may hit rummage. Would be nice. All right, so we're going to rummage away. I guess Tribeam and Probulator or Twin Disciplines. I could cast Gotcha right now, but no. I guess we'll have we'll have it, it, too much mana. Okay, so we're going to rummage away Jury Rig and Tribeam and Probulator. OK, 
Okay, good. We got another karma. Rest. Collect your thoughts. I'm not sure about that tribe even probably later. I don't know. That could end up being amazing, right? Like. Next turn we'd have like karma and deep meditation. Let's see. We each hold a world within. <clears throat> what do you think, puppy? You wanna come up here? Oh, there you are. We're still in a tough spot. Those eight mana cards are quite good. One more mana would be ideal of being able to um, deep meditation, draw four, but then also the health potion to get something else out of my hand. I want to play a spell so that we get a draggling. Maybe I just shouldn't have played Eye of the Dragon. So definitely gonna be trying to kill my karma, I would assume. They have that ravenous flock and this one, so that's eight damage. So I can give it plus six, and then it has three health, so that's gonna be nine. Let's have a two mana spell that does one damage. That seems fairly likely to have a two mana spell do one damage. Second ravenous flock is hurts, but maybe they don't have a two-mana spell that does one damage. They just played Mega Rain, so maybe they don't have another one. Nope. Looks like they do. Oh, just more Ravenous Flocks. Oh, just more Ravenous Flocks. We just had four Ravenous Flocks in hand, so that's cool. Alright, so the game has to be over, right? What is gained when we return malevolence? Karma was the next card. going to 12. My legacy. How many Riptide Rexes do you think they're playing? Think they got another one in hand? I fight with my spirit, not my fist. The few for the many. Okay, that's not Riptide Rex. <laughs> four? They're play, playing four Riptide Rex? Well, they're probably playing three Leviathan. Breathe in, breathe out. And so... Maybe not four Riptide Rex as well. You lack discipline. Uh, yes, Ezreal is now leveled up after that last turn that we just had. Bleed for Noxus. Cast multiple spells so we can get the draglings. Those were some good ones.
<sighs> Ravenous flock number five. All right, so I can, I can go the. Oh no, I don't even have the mana for twin discipline. So what are we doing? We're just doing this. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. Oh my gosh, it's still stunned. What am I doing? <laughs> I just traded with an auction fervor, that's what I'm doing. Ionia. Smart. What is gained when you return malevolence? Leave them nothing. Through the coral. So I kinda wanna do twin disciplines plus three plus zero on the draggling and then block. May need to keep that to protect. Ezreal, though. We'll just stun. Etlau! Also with the resub here. Six amazing months now. Thanks, Etlau. I really appreciate that. Hello! 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 Alright. All right, so we gotta do 19 damage. Not the easiest amount of damage to, to deal. So I could play Mystic Shot and Gotcha on the two spray fins and then hit them with Ezreal. That's a lot of resources. I kind of wanted to play one of them though, just to to have three mana deep meditation. And maybe I should have. I liked how they were passing with their ten mana. Glad we held on to the twin disciplines. I just pass? Not even attack with these spray fins? Nothing. Yeah, no, the passing's just good for me, just so I can just keep sculpting my hand. So 15, so this is 4, 8, 10, 12, 14. Three cards left in the deck. Well, that's a problem, I suppose. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Let's keep reshuffling Ezreal back into the deck then. Fire I'm kind of glad I checked that. Get bloody, get paid. It's possible we need like these things to kill Swain. Destination in sight. Bring these lands to their Yep. I could go for, I mean, I could go for the win. Mystic shot them. Let's see. Because, like, we're not going to be able to block with any of these things. So, basically, we'd have to go for the win. So, they're at 11. This is 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. Or sorry, yeah, 8, 9, 10. So this is 10 damage. All we have to do is have one spell in the last four, which we're going to have a spell in the last four. So might as well just go for the win. Lose to Culling Strike. That's true. Let's just cast this. Let's see what's up. Try Beam and Probulator being all slow and stuff. Those three, those stun those three things. So they can't, they weren't going to be able to ravenous flock. Let's do this. So 
unfortunately, our Ezreal is our very last card. The dragon binds us. No sweat. Ready yourself. So this puts me down to one, puts them to three, so the onus is on them to do something because I have four burst damage. I guess I could have gone down to four if I would have had the Eye of the Dragon. My 1-2 block this 7-2 and then my 1-3 just block the 5-8. It would be me at four instead of me at three. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. Doesn't change anything. Alright, so I'm at one there at three. Drawing our last card. And then two verse spells. Had it the whole time. Didn't need any cards. One and one. I knew we had it all along. Mid range trust by Tech has a lot of huge units, which that's a problem for us. And they also have culling strikes for my Ezreal, that's also a problem. Frostbite culling strike. They have a lot of things that are problems. Border from here. Breathe in, breathe out. You're just like right over there. I can't see the Demacian border. How can you see it? Patience. We haven't had the best Tribune Probulators yet. But it's basically turned into a gotcha. Safeguard our homes. Basically. It's a three mana spell. My gotcha's for Ash. <laughs> Correct, our anti burn deck did not face burn, but. Um, I will unite the failure. We still had super close games and everything. It was. The games took about an hour forty-five minutes for the four, for the five games. It was crazy. What would be the other card that I would rummage away? Mother will unite us all. Today we fight as one. Hot on the trail. For the homestead. I, mean, I guess I could rummage away Tribeam and Probulator. I don't really want to do that. Could rummage away Twin Disciplines. I def no, I definitely don't want to do that because the Frostbite Culling Strike. I guess it doesn't really stop that. Probably be rummage away rummage. We could do. So what's the reason to do this right now? It'd be like us draw like Ezreal. If they're out there, I'll spot them. It looks like health potion will be what I rummage away. No. Hate that card. 
All right, so yeah, if I if I cast Rummage, we can try to go towards um, getting a Dragling out here for a blocker. Have to cast another spell, which none of these really look like spells I want to cast right now. But we could we could find something. I don't know. This is eight mana. Probably probably a bad play. Yeah, I would have just drawn into deep meditation. Could have just played that. You own what you take. It's probably a bad play by me. Not doing this last turn. I haven't played any three mana cards yet, but Ezreal, Ezreal will be the first. We'll have Deep Meditation next turn to be one, so probably layer's going to be at three right there. If they try to Culling Strike Ezreal, I have Twin Disciplines. I see every Your attack is obvious. All right, we're gonna block like this and have Mystic Shot finish off Avros and Hearthguard, have these Jury Rigs be able to just sit back and block Enraged Yeti. Uh, not sure what I'm gonna be doing about this Edgewani yet. Not sure yet. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. I feel like I should be casting Gotcha. Probably should, I guess gotcha on the Enraged Yeti. Hey, what's up, Quitter? Not much, we're playing some good long games of Rune Terra today. Hey, Tasty Faithful. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. So there are some three mana cards to go with our Improbulator. A little scared of calling strike. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Ezreal Karma's been okay. I haven't. I'm not one that's like that well versed in this deck. I'm not one that's spent that much time on this deck. Um, but it's it's still been. Few are in the right to call them. Still been doing its thing. I taste purple. Yay. All right, private later is at four now. That could make him Populator at five. Crazy, they still have more cards than us now with this Assessor. Seems like just a really, really difficult matchup for us because their their things are just too big. I will unite the Freljord. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. Their things are just too big. You fought well. Wow. Brash Gambler. Now we're talking. I love Tom Kench, yeah. Um, Tom Kench just looks super cool. Loved the, the design and everything. I I don't know exactly how good Tom Kench will be or how much high level play, but it's just like really cool um, design wise and everything. Big fan of it. Ride onward. Ride offwards. Today we that is, fight as that is one. I'll show you how it's done. Alright, obviously blocking there. Probably have a brittle steel. What are you? Alright, no Brittle Steel. 
Sprash Gambler could be pretty cool. One shot, all skill. Karma and Eye of the Dragon. That would cost eight mana, which means I'd have to five. I'd have five extra, so Mystic Shot, Twin Disciplines. So how much do I want to protect Ezreal? I can do the plus three plus zero to try to protect it, but then they can just have a Frostbite spell, and then that you know that ruins that. Um, if I go the plus zero plus three, we can definitely save the Brash Gambler. I have I have the other You're Mystic Shot. Yeah, stuff, but could you I have I have another Ezreal in hand. I'm gonna save Brash Gambler instead. I don't. So basically, I just don't. I just don't think that we would actually save Ezreal, because I think I would do the plus three plus zero, and then I think they would use any Frostbite spell, which there's a million Frostbite spells they could have. They just use any Frostbite spell, and then my Ezreal dies, and then I just, and then my, then at that point I have no, no Twin Disciplines, no Brash Gambler, no Ezreal, nothing. And I think that's just too difficult. That reckoning. Alright, looks pretty bad. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Looking pretty bad. Our karma's fleeting. Like, we're definitely playing it. I know they have a glory seeker here, but it's it's fleeting. We're not going to just have it go away. Uh, we would love to draw deep meditation, please. Health potion. Trifarian Assessor and Midrange Frostbite. Still awesome. Born for conquest. All right, it's already been an hour for three games. I'm going to be conceding. You're mine. Going on to the next one. We have learned as much as we have Forever. suffered. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, you just get a whole lot of mirrors. So I, I would much rather face this matchup than um, I don't know. I mean, I, I could I could take or leave. Gotcha. I like how this card says draw a card. I'd much rather play this than like the two matchups that we lost to. Both of them are decks that are uh, very well designed to play against Karma Ezreal with They Who Endure. As, as we talked about at the beginning of that one, and that mid-range frostbite. Both of those are, are nightmare matchups. I taste purple. Yay. Into the forest. I think I shouldn't play units to level up their Ezreal. Hello. 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 Only ten. Like if we just sit back, if I just don't play units and we just sit back, pass, 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 they probably have karma. I don't have karma. They win. So I don't really see how that's going to help us. We don't have karma, so I think we have to be aggressive. I have double twin disciplines to protect Ezreal. We each hold the world within. Off we go.
Can't kill Eye of the Dragon now. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Guess I shouldn't have played the static shock. Breathe out. Well, the good news is we, yeah, we won't draw any more Tasty Fae folks. So I don't really have more units to draw. I guess I, I have Eye of the Dragon. One shot, all skill. I, I can only draw Karma and Eye of the Dragon. I only have Ezreal, Karma, Eye of the Dragon, and Tasty Fae folk. Like, that's it. But could you maybe speed things up a little? Never mind, I guess we can still draw units. Into the forest. I wish we had karma. Uh, excuse you. I think that's gonna be just the difference here. Bye. They have karma, hopefully. Yeah. My spirit is Must be nice. Fire. Where there is life. There is hope. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Yep, GG's. Darn it, should not have played the Eye of the Dragon. I mean, I guess I'll just discard a health potion. It's all good. Do I try... I mean, basically, do I try to kill Karma with Ezreal, Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot? Gotta try. Dang. Many past lives in a Karma is great. There's probably one card that you could want out of any card possible. It would be Karma. So I could kill Ezreal. I'm in. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. But if they're if they're gonna play another Karma, I'd have to kill Karma. I go back. Ezreal doesn't matter nearly as much as Karma does. Alright, we have to hope we draw Karma with our deep meditation. Okay. Oh, but yeah, now we have all these buff gaps. 
So yeah, the game's just over, isn't it? Oh well, we had fun. The answer lies within. We'll try. Ionia speaks through me. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Probably game. Alright. Alright, go to the next one. We will carry this with us. But yeah, that's probably probably not the best to draw all of your units in that matchup. All right, Leeson, Diana. Are we? I guess I keep Tasty Fate Folk. I don't know. Tasty Fate Folk doesn't. Ma no, I don't keep it. I mean, like it's not good against Diana. It's not good against Lee Sin. Both of those having Challenger and can kill it without it doing damage. Only we had the attack token on on turn two. Well, no, that doesn't matter. Never, never mind. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Um, I the dragon. We each hold a world within. I fight with my. It's like my tasty faithful. I'm planning face. on discarding. But Eye of the Dragon is also very weak to Lee Sin. I should have just kept Eye of the Dragon to discard. Night descends. Yep. I will be heard. Display of skill. What is gained when we return malevolence? Hopefully, no more Bastion. If you can back it up. Gotcha. Not gonna be able to stop Bastion. The spirit gives to those who listen. I like that. Cool. Mm. All right, I suppose. I play Karma this turn. Where Let's do there it. Is life, there is hope. Karma start creating some random spells in hand for us. Maybe they'll be good. Maybe they'll be Hextech Transmogulator for us to rummage away. You never know. I mean, Hextech Transmogulator can turn 
this Eye of the Dragon into just a regular 2-1. We can do that also. Yeah, they're willing to just go to end turn. Should I just go to end turn also? All right, let's do it. Let's take the pass. Bolt Breaker. The more passes we get, the better. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. I could see them using like a whole bunch of gems on like the side of the dragon, and then I hex tech transmogulator it. That could be cool. Transform this follower into that one. Something for that. That's annoying. Breathe in, breathe out. Look at that hex tech transmogulator. Getting some work in. Suit up. What is gained when you return malevolence? Stop bragging if you can back it up. Mystic shot. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Hello, Kaya. Horns of the Have dragon. Why did I use my hextech transmogulator already? All right, so we've played two Bastions so far. I have Concussive Palm for that thing. Fire. I do want to play two spells right now and just get a Draggling. So I guess I'm going to suit up this Eye of the Dragon. Make it a good blocker also. Now it's going to help out my deep meditation for next turn. Sure. I already have these two things to discard for rummage. Dawn and Dusk. Dawn and Dusk Karma. Heart oh, baby. Mind as one. Breathe in. Our deck's getting pretty spicy. Our deck's getting pretty spicy. This might hurt you. Oh. Problem is I'm gonna run out of I don't have the room to dawn and dusk. It's a big bummer. <laughs> Check me out. <sighs> I don't have room to dawn and dusk. Unfortunately. The body must thrive for the mind. But you know, we're good. We have leveled up Karma and leveled up Ezreal. The game's just over. Keeping Deny available in case we need it. I'll just go next turn. The dragon spirit awakened. Yeah. Should be good. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. <laughs> I don't think at three mana they're gonna do anything that I need. All 
All right, GG's. Okay, so finished up two and three. Had a fun game there, that last one. As it was meant to be. So Ezreal Karma was all right. Wasn't, wasn't great. Wasn't, you know, wasn't spectacular, but it was all right. Um, again, we didn't play against any burn, and you can tell how we were really, you know, really trying the, trying to have some good cards against burn with three health potion, three tasty fate folk, you know, really going for that matchup. Um, you know, we lose a mirror match, of course, because they had karma, we didn't. Like that's that's definitely going to happen. Uh, Tribe even probably later didn't look the best. You know, I wanted to try out this card in here, but it didn't look the best. I could see it being like one progress day and. You know, another you know, maybe a second deny and a progress day, um, maybe a third rummage and maybe something else to rummage away. Another you know, thermogenic being, I don't know. There's there's just a million cards you can play instead, and and maybe maybe it should be something else. Um, did didn't really get to do anything cool of like have leveled up karma and then cast multiple tribeam and probulators. I would have been really happy if we did, but we didn't. Um, all right, but that's Ezreal karma. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of Ezreal Karma, if you've been playing it yourself. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about the deck in the comments. Anything else, anything about the new cards or anything like that. I always appreciate seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.